Something gotta go. What's up, you guys? Chase the Dark Sage here, and I'm back with another Funko Pop video. Kind of. It's a little different. Obviously, I know my background looks completely different. I told y'all in the community post, I told y'all on Instagram, that the nerd room was moving. The nerd room was getting revamped, things like that. So, as y'all can see, I've come out the closet. But, besides all that, this video is kind of about that. It's kind of related to that. This video is not going to be a room tour, obviously, because you see that in the title. But, this video is going to be showing you that... I just simply don't have enough room for all these Funko Pops. I've had, I have over 500 Pops in counting right now, and that's not including some of the pre-orders that I have or some of the things that I have that's supposed to be coming my way soon from other online retailers. But guys, I have a lot of Funko Pops. I gotta get rid of them. I gotta get rid of a good amount because obviously, as you can see in the background right here with my beautiful Nendroids, shout out to Drooms and Frenzy for putting me on Nendroids. But as y'all can see, I have figures like i just don't have funko pops anymore i have figures too and i want to get more into figures i want to get more into getting some great looking action figures as well specifically some of the super action statue dojos but besides all that i just don't have enough room to display all these pops and obviously i don't really want pops that i really can't display or i could have i know obviously i could hold some of these pops and you know keep them like stocks where they could grow value then i can just sell them on later but honestly right now i want to get the figures i want right now because Tomorrow ain't promised to me, but today is as of right now that I'm speaking. But I want to sell a lot of these pops. I want to show y'all a lot of the pops that I have in hiding because obviously y'all will get a nerd room tour soon. But right now I got to show y'all the pops that I am selling. And a lot of these pops y'all really don't see on display, especially from my old nerd room because I didn't have enough room to display them pops either. But it's time to show y'all the pops that I have in hiding basically. And let's go ahead and switch on over to the pops that I have in hiding and in these tubs that I'm going to be selling or trading for. So let's go ahead get into the video whoa 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 before we get into the video though let me go ahead and tell you the sponsor of today's video which is me because i do all my own stunts i pay for my own collectibles so let's go ahead and let me show you all the pops that i got okay so we got one tote right here Ugh, another tote right here Woo! right here I almost fell with that one and we got this tote <sighs> right there God, that was a workout. I don't need to work out no more for 2020. These pops are weights by themselves. But yeah, guys, I got four totes worth of pops. I even got boxes of pops in the corner of my room because all these pops won't fit because I do want to get a PC built soon. I already have a certain setup built for something coming in later works that I can't tell y'all about, but my, my boy Jerry know what we're talking about. And we obviously got this for pops. I'm gonna have a table in front, have a display. We're gonna do reviews on pops, do some talking videos and things like that. But right now, I'm just out of breath from all the pops I had to get out the closet because yeah, I had more pops in the closet, which is ironic since I moved from a closet to a room and now I still got pops in the closet. But that's besides the point. We got more pops. Hopefully I can show you guys all the pops that are in here, all these totes I have. It might be a long video, so go ahead and pop you some popcorn. Get you a little snack, or in fact, don't get you a snack. Get you a meal, because this meal might be a little lengthy. Pause. All right, so we do have a lot of pops. Obviously, you can see that this is the third tote. I mean, the first tote on all this stack of four totes. But I, don't, I actually don't even know where I'm going to put all these pops to show y'all. But I'm going to just go through the tote right here, show y'all. Then, boom, we're going to move from there. You feel me? So, no cuts, no edits. Well, probably some cuts and some edits. But right here, we got Green Goblin, the Walgreens exclusive. Man, if you guys did not know, Spider-Man is one of my favorite superheroes. I even have a little print back there from my uh, cousin for my birthday. Shout out to him. Give me that print because that print is, well, that poster or frame thing. It's super dope. Definitely love it, especially with the little 3D effect that it has to it. But we got this Spider-Man from The Amazing Spider-Man. Don't really like the movie, but eh, I was a big Spider-Man fan. I still am a big Spider-Man fan, but I have no room for this in my collection. No more Marvel Pops, no more of that. We got Morbius right here. Is this the zombie version? This is a zombie version of Morbius right here. Can't sell this pop because that's a gift. We got Kratos right here, blue Kratos, boom. We got Captain America from the first Avenger movie, boom. We got the Iron Man Mark I, boom. We got Kratos, the God of War. Great game, great game series in general. Then we got Kratos, the OG Kratos. Then we got the Joker from uh, the Dark Knight. Might have to keep that one. Then we got Batman from the Dark Knight. Might have to keep that one too. Then we got Archangel. Got to keep that because that's a gift from my bro. We got the Superman right here. Got to keep that. That was a gift from my bro. Strangely enough, this kind of is a grail. And my brother bought it for me, I think, for my birthday or for a gift. I forgot what exactly he bought it for me for, but it's a gift, so I can't sell it. But this is going for a pretty penny right now. We got this Hot Topic Nerdette. Really don't want this one at all. We got this God of War 2-pack right here. 
Batman, I can't sell this because this is literally one of my first pops. I bought this pop along with Piccolo, and these were my first two pops I ever bought. Like, I bought two pops at the same time when I first bought pops, and I don't think I could ever sell this one because, honestly, man, this this pop just brings back memories of me first collecting in 2015. Uh, it was in the fall semester of college, my second year in college. This has a lot of memories to it, so I don't think I could ever sell this one or my Piccolo. I gotta get a double of the Piccolo, but I don't think I could ever sell that one, but just to show y'all a lot more of my pops that I have. I got this black Kratos right here. This is like, I'm not gonna say it, but we got that black Kratos. We got old man, wait, I didn't even know I had the old man Logan pop still, but we got old man Logan from the comic series. That's not from the movie series, because obviously they look different. We got Spider-Man from the gaming series right here. This is actually covering me up. This is not a good look. I'm gonna move that. Ah! Oh. I don't know why I was worried that was gonna fall. Um, but I'm gonna put this down right here. We're gonna have to change the camera angle or something because this is a lot of pops and that's not even half of them. All right, guys, please don't judge me. This is a different camera angle, obviously, because there is a lot of pops. The pops that I just put out are right behind me. So I'm gonna keep the gift of pops in here, but I got the whole other pops that I'm selling like right behind me. You feel me? Right here, we got the Kratos 2 pack. I already showed y'all that probably. Then we got the Spider Man Gamer Verse right here. Pretty dope game. I got the collector's edition in my closet. But I can't keep this no more because I'm selling all my Spider-Man pops. I'm sorry, Spider-Man, you're my favorite superhero and all, but I gotta sell it. Showed y'all the old man Logan already, which is pretty dope. Got Kratos still, keeping the Batman, keeping the Superman, keeping the Archangel, keeping the Jason Witten, even though I don't watch sports, but this was a gift to me because I had a friend who worked at the Cowboy Stadium or works for the Cowboy Stadium still. I don't know if she still does, but she bought this for me for my birthday. This is, I think, another Cowboys pop, but... I don't want sports, I don't keep up with it, and no, I'm not selling it. We got this Duck Dodgers right here, which glows in the dark. Got this because this is the first con exclusive that I think I got. Like, I remember my brother, he went in line to hold my spot in uh, the box lunch line that this was exclusive to at the mall that I was going to. And I literally got the second to last one, and I could have got two, but I let the person behind me get that one. This is when I wasn't in my double up game like that, but I remember this was going for like $100, $200. Like, I could have sold this, but this is a gift. Like, this is like, a moment basically in my pop collecting life that my brother helped me get basically and guys say like, thank you bro for helping me get this one you don't know how much that means to me that you waited in that line you went to the con basically to get the shared exclusives and stuff in store with me especially since this one was like super limited i believe but gotta keep that one then we got the crash bandicoot uh pops right here the hot topic exclusive one then we got the uh best buy version with glows in the dark messed up box because i think it had the, that was the only one there at the time Got Mary Jane, which I hated playing with in the Spider-Man game for PS4. We got Des Bryant, another Cowboys pop. Like I said, nine to the uh, sports pops, nine to sports in general, but these were gifts, so I am keeping this. And actually, I'm not gonna tell y'all where, but Des Bryant lives kind of close to me, or at least close to my mom's house, but got Miles Morales right here. Then we got Carnage, the New York Comic Con exclusive, which I believe this one went up in value. And this pop actually has a really great design. Like, I'm not gonna lie, this pop design is really, really dope, but not keeping it. Then we got Venom right here. The Walgreens exclusive, the OG Venom pop, the first one that came out. Then we got Spider-Man from the, 20, the uh, PS4 game right here. Then we got regular Morbius from the MCCC collector box. Then we got Blue Venom right here. I think this was inspired by Marvel's Capcom 2. I love that game, but can't do it anymore. But I do love this pop though. This pop and the color of it. These two, super, super dope. Definitely love them. And we got Mr. Negative. This is it for this box right here. Like I said, I am selling all these pops. Just be posted to my Instagram page. I don't know when I'm going to upload this, but yeah, this is Mr. Negative right here. I'm pretty sure I got a glow in the dark version of this. I'm not really sure though. Y'all guys, I'm probably going to see it when I edit the video or something. All right, boom. So we're on to the second box right here. And geez. Oh, I got some old Spider Man comics right here. I know y'all probably don't care about this, but got the Marvel Collective Core one. We got an OG Spider Man comic right there. Another one, because I used to hang these up in my, at my mom's house when I used to live there. And then we got this other Spider-Man comic. But we're not here for comics. We're here for pops. So let's go ahead and get into it. We got this Walgreens exclusive Spider-Gwen. Like I told y'all, I was a big Spider-Man fan. Still am, but can't be collecting the pops because I don't have room for that. Then we got Spider-Gwen right here. We got the Green Goblin glow in the dark glitter variant. No, this is the glow in the dark variant. I uh, don't know if I have the glitter variant, but we got, can't sell that. That's a gift. Bombastic Bagman. Anti Venom, the glow in the dark version. I remember when this bad boy was going for a pretty penny. Then we got Green Goblin, the chase variant right here. I believe I I forgot if I got this online or if I got this in person, but I got this a long time ago, so it don't matter. Then we got Dr. Octopus right here, boom. Then we got Taskmaster right here, 
Walgreens exclusive. I think it's a super dope pop. We got Carnage right here, Hot Topic exclusive. That pop is actually kind of dope. But we got Miles Morales right here from the Marvel Collective Core Box. Kind of want to keep this, but I don't know. You guys let me know down below. But got to keep this one. I believe this one was a gift. So then we got the Hobgoblin. This bad boy is going for a pretty penny. I remember in one of my older, older videos on this channel, I talked about not like uh, the Marvel Collective Core Box getting or whatever. I'll put a link above if I can find it. But got this right here. My knees are hurting right now. Then we got the Hot Topic Glow in the Dark version of Electro right here. Pretty dope pop. Uh, we got the Spider-Man Stealth Suit Hot Topic 2, so Glow in the Dark. We got the Spider Hulk pop. Pretty dope pop. We got Glow in the Dark Electro. Ooh, I don't like the box condition on that one. But got that. And then we got the Spider-Man Marvel Collector Course. I think this was like when they did, when they redid the Spider-Man, uh, just his look generally in pop form because I guess they got the license for the Sony version looking one. But I don't know. But... We got the Iron Spider right here when all these pops were exclusive to Walgreens. Got that. We got the Black Suit Spider-Man. Well, the what's it called? The one that when Doc Ock took over him. I forgot the uh, Superior Spider-Man. Superior Spider-Man right there. Then we got Spider-Man 2099 right here. We got the Superior Spider-Man, the actual pop version of it, which actually looks way better. Then we got the Scarlet Spider with Ben Riley, my boy. Then we got right here the six arm Spider Man. I think this is a really dope looking pop, very slept on one for Spider Man. We got the negative suit Spider Man glows in the dark, only a GameStop exclusive. We got the Spider Man big time suit, and then we got the black suit Spider Man pop, which glows in the dark from Walgreens. <laughs> You know, I thought when I moved to a room from a closet, I thought I wouldn't get as hot, but obviously y'all can see that I'm sweating right now because my forehead is glistening. Y'all can probably see y'all's reflection in my forehead right now, but it is getting hot listing all these pops. And I don't want to put the ceiling fan on because obviously it's going to mess with the audio. So let's go ahead and move on to the next tote. Okay, I put the third tote down and I hate past me for getting all these pops because this is ridiculous. But right here we got Spider-Man, the Best Buy exclusive two pack right here. We got the Spider-Man at Target only two-pack with the Iron Man suit that we never saw in the movie. Uh, we got Crash Bandicoot, the flop version. Crash Bandicoot, the Toys R Us version when Toys R Us was still around. Uh, we got Scorpion, Hot Topic exclusive. Pretty dope pop, love the games. We got the regular Crash Bandicoot Common. I don't know if those are gonna be bald to worth something any day, but we got Goro right here. This one was pretty hard to get, it was pretty pricey. But I got out of GameStop because my GameStop people look out for me. We got Scorpion right here from the Mortal Kombat X games. We got a Bad Box Katana right here. We got Raiden. And then we got my boy Luke Kang right here. Mr. Fire Kicks himself, you feel me? Let me go ahead and throw them pops over there. Don't really care. Then we got Tony Stark, the regular common version from Homecoming. Then we got Spider-Man, common version. We got Vulture, the common version as well. I got a lot of common versions. Then we got the Amazing Spider-Man, Spider-Man. This is from the Amazing Spider-Man 1, number 15 in the Marvel line, which is weird because they got, I think, Homecoming under the movie line, but I don't know. We got this messed up box of Iron Spider. Uh, I got this for like 2 or $3 again. I mean, at Walmart, did the pickup in store. Uh, I, I'll never do pickup in store again with Pops. Then we got the Iron Spider right here, the Target exclusive, pretty dope pop from a super dope movie. Then we got the Iron Spider right here. Then we got Peter Parker, Spider-Man in his little homemade suit. That was a Walmart exclusive. Surprisingly not damaged at all. But we got the, we got this Spider-Man suit when he was like locked in that little garage thing. Then we got Vulture, the GameStop exclusive that glows in the dark. Then we got the Tony Stark right here, the 2017 Summer Convention exclusive. Gotta get that dust off of it, you know what I'm saying? Cause I don't like dusty pops. Then we got the Box Edge exclusive, Iron Spider, where he has his helmet off, or I mean his mask off. Then we got Civil War four pack. I remember talking about this in an early one of my videos, like from years back when I used to do pop videos and then I stopped, but now I'm doing it again. But then we got Spider-Man, the homemade suit right here. Spider-Man, the Hot Topic exclusive. Uh, this is just when he has his regular suit on, but he just has his mask on. Then we got Mortal Kombat X two-pack right here, GameStop exclusive. I think they did a great job with this two-pack. Very, very unique style with Scorpion having Sub-Zero's effect on done on him and Sub-Zero having Scorpion's effect on him. Done on him, yeah. But I think it's super dope pop. Let me know what you guys think about it down below. And then we got 
Spider-Man, Marvel Collected Core Box. Didn't really like this one. They only had the webbed wings under him, which made him different. Lazy variant. But then we have this Walmart exclusive Upside Down Spider-Man, which came in, I believe, the movie uh, gift box or something like that. That's the only way you get it. I just took the little sticker off the gift box and I put it on the pop because obviously I want stickers on my pops. But that's it for the second and third tote. This is the third tote. So we got one more tote to go and my back will stop killing me. All right, so I just pulled up the third tote, and this third tote has some of my doubles in it that I'm keeping for either trade bait or I kind of want to see it grow in value so I could sell it off later on. But that's besides the point. Let's go ahead and get into the last tote, which doesn't have that many pops for me to actually sell, sell in there. And oh my gosh, all this heat got me sweating. But we got Vulture right here, boom, from the 80th years Marvel line right here. Then we got this Spider Man right here. Uh, really dope concept. I think this is a really super fire pop, but. I gotta get rid of it because it doesn't fit the collection anymore. You gotta say goodbye to some of the stuff that we like. Can't sell this, but this is a signed Spider-Man by uh, Christopher Daniel Barnes, which voiced the 90s Spider-Man in the 90s cartoon, the anime series, which the one where it's like Spider-Man, Spider-Man. I'm sorry that I did that. I, I will never do that again. But I'm not selling that pop because it is a signed pop. It has plenty of memories with me. Uh, I'm looking through this and don't have that many other pops, so I guess that's it. Oh, we had these... Uh, more combat pops that I did review, do a review on the channel of. You click the link above my head or whatever, but we got this more combat pop right here. Funko Shop, I mean, ugh, GameStop exclusive. We got the Raiden right here. I think these pops were really well done, especially since it was based off the older Mortal Kombat series. Then we got Sub Zero right here. Really like this. Very, very dope pop. Anyone who's getting that, get lucky. Then we got Scorpion right here. Boom. Trying to see if I have another one. And we got Liu Kang right here, which finishes out this video because who? I'm getting hot, but as you can see, there is a lot of Funko Pops for me to get rid of. That way I can make more room for better collectibles and things I actually enjoy and want to put on display for you guys. And just for put on display for myself because I want to make the nerd room more anime-like because I'm more into anime right now. I do love the MCU, but honestly, I'm tired of the MCU. To me, after the Thanos thing happened, there's not much really happening for me for the MCU besides Spider-Man. Don't want to collect the figures no more because Spider-Man is just a line that you can never ever complete. I mean, Dragon Ball Z can say that too, but it's always growing, but I always end up completing it. But with the Spider-Man line, it's just too much. It's just so many variants of so many different characters. Spider-Man has a wide variety of characters and his role gallery is insane. So got to get rid of all these pops I don't want, especially all the gaming pops like the Crash Bandicoot, the God of War. Yeah, I spent time on finding them, but sometimes guys when i complete something i'm like eh, i completed it gotta get rid of it also gotta get rid of my avatar set too i got that completed except for the iro but eh, i feel like it's completed enough to where i don't want to spend 40 dollars on the iro then i just sell the whole thing in general but you guys let me know what you thought about this video down below i know this is kind of more of a different type of video obviously it's a funko pop video but it's a little different also i'm in the nerd room and i'm not gonna see the whole thing because obviously as y'all can see it's still in construction None's even up there in that shelf part. Gotta get some more manga. Hopefully I can sell some of these, get some more manga, get some more figures, get a better, uh, well, just get a PC in general because if you guys didn't know, I do everything on my phone. So hopefully I can get all this stuff done soon. Hopefully I give y'all a room tour because right now my room is super cluttered, super messy, even though the design might look a little nice from right here. But like I said, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, and you like the content that you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for your boy. Hit the like button. And I'd like to say thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for sticking around for these pre-recorded videos that I have playing the past week. I'd like I said, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for sticking around. Thank you guys for showing me all the love that y'all do. Dark Sage out. Peace.